This entire world has been cursed by a creature called Dwellers. These Dwellers thrive off scaring and torturing their prey. These creatures come in different horrifying forms, expanding and getting stronger every single night. Over the next 100 days, my only goal is to survive by building bases, finding resources, and outsmarting the creatures in this world, destroying everything in its path. Will I be able to survive, and maybe even thrive? Let's find out. So I spawned into a forest, there was just trees everywhere, not a whole lot going on, so I decided to start getting some wood. Now if you're wondering why I haven't been jumped by like 50 dwellers yet, it's because we're going to be adding in a new dweller every single day, trying to make it a little bit worse for ourselves. Now these dwellers can one-shot me, so I need to be very careful. For the first night, I have the one who watches on. The one who watches, a creature that stalks its prey for sometimes days, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. Weakness unknown. So he likes to just sneak around. So while I'm running around these trees, you might just see a white figure looking at us. For the first 10 days, we're, we're going to have to try and get somewhere nice to build. But the sun is rapidly going down. So with the sun going down now, it was now time to actually start getting some stuff. So I started mining some stone because I'm definitely going to need it if I'm going to survive the night. And try and find somewhere to live for the first couple of days. Because if I don't find that, the dwellers will just catch up to me. So along with the one who watches, I also have the mimic dweller on. He can mimic into anything it's already night time it is sunset so at this point we're off to a good start but the dwellers are already starting to show up we're gonna try and make our way over to that castle you can see in the distance there oh my god already we have the first how already that is a mimic sheep i'm just gonna make my way past you the one who watches could be looking at me right now and i really would not know there better be safety up in this castle because there is too many mobs out right now. So after their first encounter with the dwellers, it was now time to set up base in the castle for the first night. Also thinking about what I have to do later on in this series. We're going to have to set ourselves some goals. First things first, I want to try and get a nice little base going. We want to have a nice steady source of food to keep us going. And also we need to find out what is the weakness to these dwellers. What can I actually do to survive? In all of my other attempts I've tried doing this, I have just died <coughs> brutally. And I do not know much about the dwellers itself. Now we've actually found a decent place to set up base for the first night and completing these goals is not going to be easy especially that it's already night one so that means another random dweller will spawn and i was not prepared for this now day one was actually kind of a what 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 who's whistling what someone's coming i think that's the man from the fog what I don't feel safe. I do not feel safe. He can climb blocks. <gasps> oh my god, he's right there. 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 Oh my god, he set me on fire. As I was saying, I thought the first day was going pretty well, but that is the first proper encounter with it. We had the mimic dweller, but that was the man from the fog right there. I need food bad. Now for some stupid reason, I thought it was a good idea to leave this castle behind for something better. But soon I was going to really regret this. With no food and basically no protection, I was <laughs> fucked. What was that? Oh my god, there's the all-seeing one. Look at his eyes, look at his eyes. He's just spawned again, there he is. Go away. Stop stalking me. I know that's like your home. Oh. Oh. Build up, build up, build up, build up. Where is he? What? Go away. Come on, guys. It's, it's the second day and I've already encountered all three of the dwellers. <sighs> it's day two and I've already encountered all the dwellers. And I have no loot. I'm still with my shitty stone tools. And I am struggling. I haven't found a place to live yet. So it is not going well at all. Oh my god, he's slowly getting closer. I see you in the tree line. You see what I mean by being stalked? That's exactly what he's doing. Maybe I should have stayed in that castle. And I know this is pretty bad now, but this is just gonna get- ah! Ah! Let me build! What? Why didn't he keep on attacking me?
This has been a very rough start, but it really is only going to get worse. We're getting closer to day three, so you know what that means, another dweller spawning. But things started to look like they might be getting a little bit better, because I saw a village in the distance, which could help me. Now, if you saw my last video, villagers you cannot trust at all. Uh -oh. <laughs> I think I figured it out. Oh my god! <laughs> so I don't know about living beside a village, but you cannot trust any of these villagers. But don't forget the dwellers can swim as well. But for now, I think this could be a nice little place to live. The blood moon's rising. You see the way that these villagers are getting slowly closer? That is Mimic right there. With the sun starting to go down now, I have to survive a blood moon. A blood moon makes all the mobs in the game do double damage and have double speed. Oh yeah, and it spawns everything around you. Not fun at all. So to make sure I actually survived this night, I leveled off the island and built a little tiny base to stay the night in. And let's hope nothing happens to me. Stop kidding. I told you. I told you. Whoa! Why can he open doors? Oh, oh fucking hell, I didn't know I can open doors. Oh, the outside world is just not safe at all. You're gonna have to burn through these saplings. Another close call. At this rate, this video will be over at five days. So for the rest of the day, I was too scared to leave my house. So I smelted some iron and waited out the blood moon. It is officially sunrise. As you can see, the blood moon is setting. Right, it's day three, so I decided to loot up this village, making sure the villagers are actually real, first of all. I was thinking about living here, but honestly, it is just not worth it. One of these days, a mimic was going to get me, so I decided to loot up this place and be on my way. Okay, you're real. Oh my god, leave me alone. Oh god, build up. Build up. Look at, look at this guy, he's trying to climb. What are you looking at? They are just out to kill me. It's this guy again. Fuck him up. Fuck him up, Iron Golem. Hit him. What is going on with all the flowers here? Yeah, that Iron Golem was useless. But now I was on my way through the fields of flowers and then walking through the woods, trying to find something to make a base in. But on the way, I was still getting stalked. Please stop stalking me. Leave me alone. What's the... Whoa. <laughs> you see that shadow? That's him. Okay, swiftly moving on. I got some coal for later and I had a little swim in the ocean and found a shipwreck. That was, yeah, pretty bad. But then I saw a room portal. <gasps> a god apple. Right! <laughs> Fuck off! Now, you know that golden apple I just got there? That will come in handy later on. But in the distance, I saw the castle from earlier, and I decided to camp there for the night. But it was a terrible mistake. What? I can't hide. No. Surprise, shawty! Oh, that's a for the fuck! Place blocks, quick! Like, I'm out of blocks! <laughs> oh my god, stop! Oh my god, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> Leave me alone. If you're wondering why I'm freaking out, he can climb through one block collapse. And look, he just climbed all the way up here. And something else just spawned. That was way too close. So I decided to stay in my hole for the rest of day three. But when it was the morning, it was time to check out the structure. And I found some chests with food and... Ooh, iron chest plate. Another god apple. Hold on, what is going on with these structures right now? Okay. Bro. Oh. Get me the fuck out of here. Fuck off everything. Jesus Christ. I had to use my god apple because what the hell? It was so close to dying there. I couldn't place blocks. There was just too many of them. No, we're just going to set up base somewhere in the woods, maybe. Here's another structure. That's the same. 
Let's hope there's some good stuff in here like the last one. Ooh, boots. Ooh, feather falling. Power two. Okay, I'm very scared right now because it's been a couple minutes and nothing spawned. So we got ourselves a nice new pair of shoes and a book. Not too shabby. For the next five minutes, I just ran around until I found a nice looking tree house. Oh, that's a big tree. I reckon this could be a tree house right here. Yeah, let's just get rid of the tree surrounding it real quick. My mind made up about the tree house. You know, I was feeling pretty confident. Didn't really think much about it. But the thing I forgot about these dwellers is that it's now day four. So there is four more dwellers lurking around. And remember earlier when, you know, I got fucking set on fire. Yeah, I didn't really think that one out. We're just gonna put some ladders up here and call this our home, I guess. I don't trust this guy anymore. I feel like he's just gonna attack me eventually. Yep. Oh, that was close. Haha, <laughs> you can't hit me. The moon is rising, so it's gonna be nighttime, which means another one's gonna spawn. I want to go right up. What? Where is he? He's inside my tree. Well, this is great. I'm not even safe in my own tree house. What is happening? Everybody leave me alone for one second. You really just do not want to give me a break, do you? At this point, I was just getting mad because I've been searching for a place to live for four full days and I was really confident about my tree house. But look how that's working out for me. But I tried to sit here and wait the night out, but that didn't go to plan either. Damn my entire house. Guys, this is, this is just ridiculous now. Look at me trying to, look at this. So I can't live in a tree house. Look, look what's just happened to my treehouse. The man from the fog goes and he sets everything on fire. What am I supposed to do? So I am just dumbfounded. I can't live near a village. I can't build my house out of wood. What was my options like? Don't worry, I turned this around soon. This was a very low point for me in the series. Just prepare for me to lose my mind. So now we should have all the dwellers activated except for maybe one. And something's teleporting around. And what the hell is that? So you know, you know what I mean by saying that this is like a really hard challenge? Like I'm not over exaggerating. I, I've been recording now for two hours and like I have, I have, what do I even have? I have bare iron stuff. This is just from searching around. I have low food. I have a power two book going for me. That's literally all I've got. And we're out of here. Fuck this entire island. I'm going elsewhere. And elsewhere I did go. I sailed for what felt like years, stopping off at a village. Can I get a minute? Why is Siren Head here? <laughs> you know what, man? That village, I had a bad feeling from the village, and I definitely should have trusted my gut. What just hit me? Wait, is this dolphin attacking me? Hold on, is that what's going on right now? Yo, why do they make dolphins aggressive? Look at you trying to hide behind it. Leave me alone, man. Shit. Ooh, ooh. Oh. Why was I so slow placing those blocks there? That nearly caught me out. We're leaving again. Oh my god, look at that, it's a pirate ship. There's two pirate ships. I know what's on those pirate ships. There's just a lot of pillagers that like will definitely kill me. So we're going to have to avoid that. With absolutely no luck on the last island. I just kept on rowing my boat until I eventually saw an island in the distance. But I see like some type of market thingy there. Are you real? Please tell me you're real. Okay, you're real. No, I don't. Whenever they speak, that means they're fucking fake. I do not want to make a trade. Leave me alone. Wait, is that an animal? <laughs> Oh, whoa, he did actually spawn behind me as well. Oh my god, there's an anvil there. I actually need that. Do we go get that anvil? Do we risk it? Okay, I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. Take some obsidian, I guess. Oh my god, leave me alone! This guy, man, give it a break. Now, what I'm about to show you is me being the closest to death in this series so far. I don't know. 
Are you serious, my brother? Fucking phantom! Fuck! Oh my god. That was way too close to dying. A phantom came out of the sky to hit me. I don't know what the hell that creature was that I saw in the distance. Not only that, there was also the man from the fog there. I'm sleeping through this night. I need to sleep. I was very lucky there. I'm surprised I even survived that, to be honest. So I slept it off and I wanted to just get out of my hole and explore. But there was more dwellers above me. So I just waited that out as well. Am I okay now? Can I live a life? I don't have a shovel. Oh my god. This is why you need a shovel. I'm gonna make it possible for me to beat this now. If you keep on doing this bullshit. Now recently I have just not got a break from constant dwellers like the one who watches. And the man from the fog just seemed to have like a little crush on me right now. But it was finally my time to make a turn on the series. So what I did was explore to find somewhere to actually live to finally fulfill the tasks I gave myself. So I explored and definitely got my steps in. Firstly, I made my way out of the birch forest and then back on my boat until I found a little cove to make my way to, running through this horrible biome. Yeah, this island is not that promising. There is nothing on here. And you wouldn't guess it, I'm back on the boat again. Hey, I've literally just traveled for like a couple seconds and I think this is an abandoned village, which is actually perfect. If all the villagers are gone and dead, that means I can get my hay bales in peace. I think we have just found home right here. So we've got a massive cave that we can farm its resources. We've got a pillager base over here. Now you're probably wondering why I'm so happy about this place. It's because the dream home in this world would be something built into the side of a mountain with windows around it so I can be safe in my little house. But I can also see everything around me. So this place looks like it might be perfect for me. But the one thing I do need to look out for is that even though it is nice having that, dwellers can spawn in your house. I've played a world before where I was playing along and I was just trying to record the video and then a dweller spawned in my base and killed me in my own home. But all I did is I just had like a little safe room that we can just always go into. Uh, that's whenever it gets nighttime, it just gets crazy. Build. Yeah. And you're after me. I'm going to bed. What? Okay, well, I guess I'm not allowed to sleep then. Jesus Christ. Let's try again. Yeah, exactly. What are you gonna do? Well, we managed to make it to day seven, so it was now time to start making the house. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna level out this area right here. And I also do wanna have like the shelter of the dirt over it. So if it does set stuff on fire, at least it won't be setting the inside of my base on fire. We're gonna need a whole lot of sand because I wanna make like a big dome looking thing now that you guys understand the vision i was going for it was time to just start mining out everything all right i think that's a pretty cool idea now let's finally make all of this bread two stacks and a half things are starting to look up now that the structure has been made it's now time to get some sand to make some glass to surround the entire house with and look at that sunset you can already hear the zombies spawning let's try and sleep Day 7 finishing off, the next day I was straight back up working on the base. Now I do think a couple of the dwellers can actually open up doors. Whoa. What was that? That's uh, Goatman, you might have heard of him before. That's his first appearance now, so I think that's everything. We should be good as long as we just don't look at him. Okay, well I did not even look in his direction, but apparently he's still when it comes over. Can you climb up here? This is actually a good test. Whoa! What the hell? Hello? He just climbed up here like it was no problem. That's gonna be our little cubby hole. So it's very clear I need to get a move on with the glass to keep them out, and I did exactly that. I spent majority of day 8 just placing glass all day long. Now you guys get the vision I had. I don't think it turned out too bad. It was now time to add some finishing touches onto the house, so I decided to use some stone bricks on the walls, and then also I decided to make a fireplace in my house to make it a little bit more cosy. Boom, look at that now. That actually looks pretty nice. Next episode, we're going to have to definitely go mining, and that's when we're going to have to encounter the cave dweller, which we all know about. 
That is the most famous one. So this is how the base is looking now. And then this is what it's going to look like now. But when I eventually get an iron pickaxe, I'll actually dig out this area. And then we can get a bit better. This can be like a little secret room that's going to lead into more stuff. And at least they can come in and you can actually just continue on with the house without stuff spawning. I also have a furniture mod as well, which can make the house look a lot nicer later on. There we go, that can be the temporary fireplace and we'll get some iron bars to put in front of it. But now we're heading on to day 10, so this is going to be the final day of the video. Now that's going to wrap up the first 10 days of the video. We've had some very, very close encounters. I've had to use a god apple before and I've also had to run away from many dwellers very quickly. And uh, yeah, this has been a very rough episode, but we've made it out. The first 10 days have been completed. We've actually survived them. I really hope you've enjoyed the video. This took a long time to make, so if you could subscribe, it would mean the world to me. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers subscribers by Christmas. Would you like to see another episode soon? Let me know in the comments. Until next time, peace.